Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene. Now, I have um, my little scarecrow. He's not painted yet, but he will be. But uh, what I do a lot, I told you what I would do is share with you how I go about finding information on a project when I'm doing something. How do you get references to something that you're working on or ideas in general? Well, the the scarecrow was on my mind a couple of times and then it was I kind of confirmed by a friend of mine I said why don't you do a scarecrow I thought you know that's a good idea I'll go ahead and do that so the very first thing I did when I because I don't have any scarecrows in my house or at the farm here so the best place to go for me and will be the best place for you if you're a little bit of an internet person uh, is to go to images.google.com now, th I did this a few years ago. This is kind of an updated version of that because if you go to the Google Images, it does nothing but photographs, okay? You don't have to go through that listing and then try to find the photographs that way. It will just pop up images or photos of whatever you're looking for. So let's do this. Let's put in a scare, uh, scarecrow. Um, all right and see what pops up see now when I was thinking of doing this most of the arms are out but I didn't I couldn't have the arms going out because I'm doing it out of a cone so I'm limited to what I can do so I wanted the I wanted this guy to be holding a a pumpkin alright so we we have that done here on this piece and what I did was I would go through these through these images until I found something that would kind of go along, give me some references of how to go about doing it. The other thing you can do is you can really narrow this down. If you, the next thing I did, I did um, scarecrow uh, head. All right, so let's see what that that gives me just the heads of the scarecrow. All right. Then if you want to do the back of the scarecrow, what you do is you go, you type in the word back and you click on the search bar there and this will show you the back side of the um, scarecrow. So there are hundreds and thousands of photographs of images that you can collect your ideas from. So that's how I go about doing it. It's not very difficult when you're not sure how to paint something. Like I'm really, I have a general idea how I want to paint him, but I'll go back to this tomorrow and I'll go through it and say, okay, this is the colors I want. I want to pull this out, pull that out, because um, doing these is like doing Santas. There's so many different variations of Santas that you can do. Um, if you wanted to do um, Santas and you want to get some ideas. Ah, let's see what it comes up with. I haven't done this one for a while. Um, these are mine. <laughs> so because I load them up to Google, I'm part of the Google thing. So mine came up at the very top. But, you know, you can get all kinds of ideas for Christmas time this way. Now, they take a little time to load on mine because I use an air card. But, um, you know, you can get a wide variety of, of ideas. Um, you know, you can put all kinds, you can put reindeer in if you're looking up reindeer or whatever, ornaments, um, you know, if I put up Santa, Santa ornaments, let's see what comes up. Okay, these are mine again up at the top, um, but you can see the wide variety of stuff that you can come up with all right I'll just keep bringing pictures up over and over again now sometimes it will repeat pictures for the most part it's you know it's just a great reference to go by so anything you're researching make sure you go to images dot google dot com and whatever you're working on, whatever you want to do, um, this is a great place to find photographs. All right. 
thank you for joining me. Hopefully that's been helpful to you. And uh, take care, and we'll catch you next time. And I'll get that uh, scarecrow done here tomorrow probably, and then I'll post my last video of him up uh, in a day or so. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.